Hello guys, welcome to part 16, game number 16 of short chess game series. If you haven't checked out previous parts and previous games, make sure you go and check out in the playlist. Okay, so let's start guys. Yeah, over here, white played d4 and knight f6 from the side of the black. A very common move, white played c4, white black played e6 and it was clear the game will go on Nimzo Indian defense. So knight c3 and bishop b4, a standard Nimzo Indian defense. Okay, let's go ahead. Now what happens is... Uh, white should generally what white prefers to play is bishop d2, okay, or maybe e3 or knight f3. These are the three main lines what white prefers to continue, and the majority players play bishop d2. But white here played something very unusual, he played another different way line, okay, that is queen b3. It is not bad, it is also playable, that's completely fine to play, okay. Now, over here, black can uh, black played a good move that was c5, and that is the correct. Nice. Now, what happens after that is white plays a3, attacking the bishop and forcing him to retreat. That's the white's plan. Now, what black plans is let's go and why let me let me play queen a5. Why we can I can increase the pressure over here and pin the, uh, the rook over here. If, for example, next move white just simply goes and captures it, he loses the rook. That's the issue you cannot capture because of the pin, and that's why. Black plays queen a5. A great move. A simple move from the right side of the white to solve the problem. Uh, bishop d2 giving a defense and also if bishop captures, you bringing a counter attack on the queen. And what preparing, preparing for another move. What's that move? We will see afterwards. Now white gets the knight out and getting an attacker on this pawn. Now if you see carefully, just think you are white. What will you play? Let's start over here. You get a two puzzles. You get two questions in this puzzle and that is really surprising. From white, what will you play? Some of player you will think, uh, some of your uh, you will think, let's uh, push the pawn. He will kill, I will kill and all. But I would say no. What happens is he will come ahead and start attacking you. And that's not that good for you. Another option. Uh, what do you guys can go? You, I mean, it's fine to play d5. It is not that good. It is not bad. Even it is also a good option. But what white played was something different. What white played, that was this one. e3. That you are thinking, no, even that's not the plan of the white. Why? That's a completely wrong move. What happens is if you are planning to play e3, the white, he will kill you, he will kill back with the pawn and knight will kill back. So again, the same thing, attack, attack is coming on your queen. That's not okay. What white played was a very simple move, queen d1. Why? Because he knew, see, there are two things. You can go for a d5 move or else if you want to go for unusual moves, you can just simply let the pawn get killed over here. Because there is no other move which can save the pawn other than d5. So logically, that was a good idea. And that's what white thought. And queen d5 is really good. The reason being, if we can kill, we can also now do one thing. We can go and just simply, if he kills with the pawn, we can just simply go and kill the bishop. Now what happens? We just go back, we get a bishop and we have advantage of two points. Because of there is an attack on the queen, he cannot kill the knight. If he kills the knight, he will use the queen in two. What he will play obvious move uh, like for example he will save his queen and in the meantime we will to move our knight and start attacking him okay we, we will move our knight too and start attacking uh sorry yeah we will move the knight and start attacking the queen and also bringing the attack over here too like that that was the plan so that is the reason why he played queen d1 and there is one more reason why he played queen d1 that was to give the support to rook so he can kill and your uh, his black queen cannot kill the white rook on even now let's see what happened here so the killing with a pawn doesn't work and that's why black played to use the knight to kill and he played knight cross d4 come on guys you are white what will you play yes if you are if you are thinking a cross b3 very good your answer is wrong and then why are you telling very good sir okay it's a surprising move let's see so if uh if you play kill if you play this it's a wrong idea why because you are thinking the rook is protected no that's just a big surprise for you he will sacrifice the queen a uh, queen cross even he will kill back and the next one coming is knight c2 a fork on king and queen so that's not working over here okay so over here what do you have to do over here this not doesn't work so what did white thought over here what if think again guys what will you play over here the correct answer is e3 why because a very simple question is see this is not a problem anymore now that the rook upon is pinned rook will be killed he it already has a defense the only issue what white faces over here is after killing white is getting forked by the knight coming on s e2 so white needs a solution for that so just you find this problem and then gets its solution so white played over here e3 just getting the rid of the knight 
first let the knight move away anywhere for example knight simply goes back and the in next chance white will go and kill in case if we use his bishop to kill we can simply kill with the bishop a uh, counter attack the queen queen may move somewhere and we get the knight so right anyhow gets the knight or the bishop any of it because both are under the attack over here hope so you like the idea this are uh, this are some simple surprising moves and silly moves what we miss out while the thinking complicated things we miss out some simple ideas so it was a very good idea of why very good idea of that very good example for that and make sure to hit the like button and press the subscribe button yeah and check out the whole playlist of made into which are the uh, not made into it is of the short uh, chess game series which are of less than 5 moves 10 moves and 15 20 moves they are very short uh, 3 to 5 minute video and you will like it they are completely new surprising and different ways of attack yeah